Good evening, YouTubers. This is Pocket Digit here. So, konbowa mina san, Pocket Digit is all the way from Hong Kong. And welcome back for more anime previews and kuji previews to share with all of you. So, today is not really a preview video, but this is going to be my very first time of all like how many years I've been uploading uh, videos on my YouTube channel. This is going to be my very first time to let you see how my room looks like for the anime room tour if I get that uh, topic correctly which a lot of the YouTubers on um, Instagram um, uh, users like that they actually took a lot of photos and tour around the room how it looks like whether it is a big room or a small room and just to let you know that my room is literally very small because of the drawers which you will see once I put all my clothes and stuff and the, the bed which is combined in a lot of stuff like number one the bed number two drawers and number three is a big cabinet you will find out afterwards so before I will let you see my room whatsoever everything I have put a lot of hard work on it just to decorate a lot because every time we keep moving house I can't even display a lot of them only this time around and because I have my own room I finally get the opportunity to um, decorate it since last Wednesday like during my um, sick leave because what I meant by sick leave is because I have to go sick leave for like last Wednesday until the September 3rd because of my undergo of the examination for the of the colonoscopy. So those of you who are curious about this word colonoscopy or colonoscopy, I'll put a word here. If you're that curious about it, Google it. I am not going to explain it here. It's something that's got to do with hospital issue stuff. So I will not explain it here because I have clarified everything in a simple, easier, short term on my Instagram post. So if those of you uh, did follow me on my Instagram, then you already know about what I've been going through, how I am, you can tell I'm a little bit pale already even though the light is not good where I'm standing is a bit of shadowy here. So without further ado, let us begin my um, my very first time anime uh, tour room. So the moment you move, you get inside to my room because outside is already the, the, the blanket that I actually got. Not really a blanket but it's like a big gigantic curtain that based off the uh, symbiosis or slash coexistence of the Digimon Avengers try the movie 5th of Hikari and Meiko so I don't have to show you that but as you go into my room you will see this Mamote uh, Lollipop right here it's based on the manga and they make it into a series way back in 2000 something and here's the author's name and the combi of the Dodansha right here so I place it right here supposedly I had to put the um, Hanamaru but then I decided to put this because I also love this um, manga and I read it in the Chinese version but of course I do prefer the Japanese dub and then moving on to this section is my cabinet for a lot of stuff these parts are random so I can't really clarify everything but you can see in this section you can see it's the um, my melody mermaid um, peachy peachy peach and ignore the bird up there and then some mini folders and that's the Digimon Adventures try of the uh, blinder cards that I got and then down here then moving on to the um, middle section of my cabinet you can see those are my Hanamaru collection so I'm not going to clarify every detail letting you all see the detail how much effort I have to reorganize from before and after even the inside are postcards or mini folders uh, there's one behind like the Happy Party Train CD, if you do know, and some of them are from Gachapons, Ichiban Kujis, um, Yume Cafe, Lucky Joe, well, um, Raffle like that. Some of them are like glowing lights, you can see the one all the way back there, that diamond shape, that one can actually glow, and this one as well. And then downwards, uh, let's see, yep, downwards, uh, give me one moment. I'm sorry about that because my sister's asking me about the KFC. So yeah, strict diet area, you know. So moving on, you can see here is the section of my Digimon Hikri slash Telmon. And that's something connected to the two of them. And you can see all of them are from, you know, that I purchased in Japan almost a year ago. Some of them are like limited figures that I have to get them. And then you can see Tsumu Tsumus that I got. Right here, some of them I got it from the um, 
in Japan, which is this one, Plotmon and Wizardmon. Then for Tailmon and Meikumon, the Meikumon Chuma Chuma, which you will see later, which is behind me. I actually got it from the certain person that helped me purchase a lot of these certain items. So thank you so much if you're watching this video. Uh, thank you for the Ancient Woman figure, the Wizardmon figure. And there's a lot of these that he actually helped me purchase a lot. So without him, I wouldn't be able to get this one. So thank you so much. And then behind here, you can see there's a Lady Devimon. And you may wonder, why haven't I done any preview of her? Because one of her wings, the moment I opened the box during recording, one of her wings snapped off. So I had to stop recording and just, just post a photo on my Instagram post instead. And I forgot to mention, this is one of my uh, friend's drawing, and she gave it to me for free. And then this one is the coaster. Uh, of course, in uh, Tokyo, Japan, they can only get them. Of course, it's the same thing, Anime Cafe, or any Cafe. Then here is Holy Drama, a critic stand. That also my friend who also, who also helped me purchase this ancient woman, a glorious figure. Then here is one of the talking cat of the town one, but it's really broken, but I used it for display. And here is another one that I purchased over there, like a TV screen as well. And then some of the um, uh, AVO files, you can see them clearly, some of them. Or oh, I should say most of these ones are in Japan, but I was able to purchase it here in Hong Kong. And then some posters, you can see the advertisement paper of the coexistent. And then there's more of these ones, you can see. And then the pen and my DJ device that I used to cosplay and purchase this one as well quite expensive but worth it in the end and then up here and then you may wonder why I have this one because when I was cosplaying the Tel uh, Telmon uh, human version they kind of teased me for that oh here you go you play with this one like a catnip so it's very funny and I just put it there and then down here, nothing special, just some personal stuff like that, except for the some of the pens there. Uh, two pens are from Sarah Mercury, and the other pen that you can't really see uh, is actually uh, Judy's pen from the Zootopia. And the cup over here is the Yumi Cafe, based in three years ago. Then the, um, the box right here, you may notice, is a Harry Potter. That is from two or three years ago. That I that this film is only for the films for the one stand and uh, one sections, and the B prize are just the one pen, and the A prize is not a pen, but it can glow. Literally, when you're on it, it's like a glowing effect, like you see in the Harry Potter movie. And then for these drawers, um, nothing spectacular to show you. So these ones are some anime stuff, some uh, Kuji. Um, uh, you know tickets right here sometimes I like to label them sometimes not but I had to reorganize it and put it back into that certain Kuji box which I'll show you in a minute and then second drawer same thing for anime stuff I'm not gonna show it to you all third and fourth cosmetics and the fourth are personal stuff so I can't show you that and forgive me that my sister has put that pizza she's trying to tempt me to eat but I can't because uh, because of my condition and then here are my uh, stuff that I normally put it to my um, computer or my laptop, my bed, right here. And it's not very fascinating, you can see it's very small. So now moving to the section, it's a big drawer but I only was able to display just some because you see behind me there's actually a lot. So these ones are like posters from magazines like the Gegege no Gintaro um, Season 6. The Love and Sunshine Hanamaru. Then this one is kind of a um, scroll, the seafood uh, seafood scroll that I got from one of the person. Uh, didn't I get his uh, lucky character? But just sell it to me for thirty or twenty five Hong Kong dollars, and I got it uh, in a good condition. And then downwards, one of the authors that I was able to meet in person uh, during the anime convention, and I got this wallpaper for I think twenty Hong Kong dollars for I think a few years ago. And moving to here is also one of the magazine, um, the magazine books, and there's a lot of uh, uh, wallpapers, anime wallpapers, and you can just cut it and then paste it right here. And this is Phoenix Wright that my sister really likes to play. If those of you knows my sister not enough, she plays a lot of this one on her Let's Play channel. So if you're curious about her and who she is, I'm just put a, I'm just gonna put it on the description below and. Put the let's play link like that if you're curious or if you know more about this phoenix Wright anime slash uh, ndes game 
and then moving upwards you can see just some variety of items like the number one right here that's a year ago right now this is the ice shaker and it's the number one price and then the dormy stuff and here's my medicine that I have to take right here I'm not going to say it some medical stuff and then the um, charging for my phone random stuff and then here's the fake grand order figure that I won out of three tickets that's a year ago and this one is the last one price two years ago of the card capture Sakura the um, frame boards also from the Chuan Kuji only in B but mostly got the B price but it's still good we really like it because it's based on mommy and uh, baby and then Charlotte and then right here you can see there's two fans the right side fan is you know going to be soon for winter the left side fan the two ways I got it out of two tickets again please don't ask me why and for the um, happy meal set uh, I have recently just put it there for a good reason which you will find out soon and then two more or three more boxes one box is variety of items but then the other box the front one is one of the anime I forgot the name but it's a show and then the far back is the far back is actually the beauty and the beast for the flower theme and it took me almost 20 pulls just to get that and then down here there are some of them are my medicine and some samples of the cosmetic here are some of the lotions for hand mini fans and the dro eye dropper or not really dropper but a contact lens to wash like that to wash your contact lens and then this is the box that I uh, put all the Kuji tickets. I'm afraid you can't really see them. But yeah, these are mostly the tickets, Kuji tickets, any types of Kuji tickets I put it here. And then inside you see uh, two more boxes of the Kuji box because I really like the design and the decoration. And a lot of the cups that's based on the Kujis as well, just, uh, such as Pokemon, Sakura, um, Pantheon, Stalking, Tsubutsumu. And then to the back again, some random stuff. And then another a manga anime here called Mama Kole, which is very cute. You can only get this in Japan. But someone here was selling this one for me for 50 Hong Kong dollars, which is really cheap compared to 100 Hong Kong dollars. And then as you move here, one of the authors that makes these kawaii stamps, she also made the Ochamachu Dore Me of the calendar, which it's so nice and I don't want to write anything on it and because today is September 2nd I put the theme here September so now I'm going to turn around slowly of course to this section yep another cabinet right here so as you can see I have a lot like from Black Rock Shooter, Joku Sojo and a lot of these are from April Files and then here is Gege Gen no Kentaro, Love Life Sunshine, maybe for one chat with Love Life Sunshine, Peace Right Fan Art. And for this section, it's like international because you can tell, like, this one's from, uh, this one's like from Hong Kong, this is like Paris, this is like London, this is like, like a tropical kind of island. Here is like another country, but these are still based in all anime except for the Maracas Ladybug. And yeah, these are the stuffs I also stick on it. And those two over there is just for decoration because this theme is almost like international, even though it's anime slash cartoon. So now moving to this section, you see is another Hanamaru theme, which you can tell, and I don't have to explain every detail. Some of them are in profile and some of them are from the Yume Cafe and Yume Cafe stand. And this um, card right here is the person who gave me this, purchased this for me. And then he made this for free. So thank you so much. And then uh, moving downwards, you can see again, I have a lot of Digimon. So forgive me for this because I'm a huge fan of Digimon. And for these two, the right side is of course Ariel, the 3D um, card, postcard. She gave me that one two years ago when she went to Tokyo, Japan to go to the certain uh, event for the Digimon. And uh, here is the uh, Keroro Bunso that I gave it to my sister, but because um, she having some division with her um, daughter, so she had to give, uh, like, just rent like some of these stuff and then straight into my room. And then uh, moving on to the other side right here, another folders. 
whether they're from a certain place or Kujis, I put them there. And then you can see even that area represents of each country of the um, characters, which I don't have to mention it. And then here is another Puella Machi Madoka Magica. Here is the card Kato Sakura. And here's the limited uh, base, again in uh, Tokyo, Japan, of uh, Hatsuki in Ochimacho Doremi. And here is made some uh, from the series or the brand of comic fans here in Hong Kong, but it's really long gone. And now moving down here, if you can see, it's another Digimon. But you can see that these ones, these kawaii cute stamps, are of course fan made and this is the theme of Full Metal Alchemist and I really love it so much and this is the poster that I got in Japan almost a year ago it's from a scroll of course and I got it luckily in the UFO um, uh, catcher that I got and here are the postcards that I got like in the limited base in Ikebukuro and they will give you these free postcards depending on how much you spend on and I spent around 20,000 plus yen that's equivalent to almost 2,000 Hong Kong dollars so that is a lot but except for this one this is from the Kitty Land, um, uh, loca uh, Kitty Land store but I forgot the location I think it's Shinjuku or Shibuya I could be wrong but the store name is called Kitty Land same thing for this uh, folder right here because of the kawaii-ness and I'm moving towards up here you can see the get backers that I gave to my sister but yet again like I said just to move it here and because I also like get backers as well and another one of the full metal alchemist like a bookmark and one who created the small stamps that I showed to you all a few seconds ago and then right here is a folder of Professor Layton and the unwind, I think unwanted future, the one he's, what he supposed to um, marry with. Ah, I really, really love that game, but so sad for her death. And then here is one of my friends drawing again of Mami Tooi. It's really gorgeous, love it so much. And that's a bookmark. And another um, uh, artist here in Hong Kong. She also drew this one and it's really nice to see uh, Katrina right here. And I already watched the episode already until episode 7. So if you did watch this one, don't spoil to me. I really want to watch all the way. And then down here, more Digimon stuff. You can see the April file. And then the two postcards that's from the limited uh, base as well. But luckily to purchase them, some sellers here in Hong Kong. And this gap area, right here the gap areas. I am going to put them for another certain Digimon stuff. But I'm not going to say what are the items. And now moving downwards, you can see another stand up here if I want to record to another angle like I just did. And then here's another folder that I got in Japan. Some of my uh, drawings that I drew a few years ago. And those are my versions. Here's my cheapy versions right there. And this is just me pretending if I was in Adventure Time. So this is just for fun but simple but it's cute. And then right here, you can see it all the Maho Sojo items but not everything but mostly you can see are the card Kato Sakura and then right here is the Fushigi Yugi um, poster that got one of the lucky draw gachapon in Monko and then a sticker right here of Hanamaru you know because I got to display up here so I place it down here and as you open this there's a tons of these games from the NDS, 3DS and you know etc some of them are like books, some of them are for electronic stuff. And then some of these ones displaying like uh, BMO and then the music box that's based on the chicken run, the human version that I drew way back then. So long story, if those of you knows my Deviant art, then you know what it is. And as for this side, before I show you inside, uh, there's a sticker that here, the Wishy Washy tape, that I have these owl stickers that with my help of my sister not now. And then even the Ocho Macho Doremis, if you can clearly see them, I'm moving as slowly as I can. Just to have a cute decoration and a simple decoration. And you can see the cute dog. And you may wonder, who is this dog? It's actually based on my uh, dog, like an inspiration dog of Gigi. And this one is called Aliamon. Because it's my dog looks like a Titsu and Chihuahua. Second of all, likes arts, and third is an Egyptian dog. As I really like historical stuff about uh, regarding about Egypt, so I combine all three to make it into a OC Digimon of mine. 
I'm hoping that one day someone could make a plush doll of my Elemon. And this is a reference right here. And someone made that for me and it really, really is gorgeous. So moving this one. And you can see all the Moho soldiers from the 90s or from the latest ones. And here's my key over there. And this is so much. Some of them are from Kuji's. Some of them from Sega, some of them have been bought out, some of them are from Gachapons. Well, that one is the Doremi right here of Momoko. And here's the um, mini pen, also from the Gachapon. And then for the Sailor Mercury, the stand right there, if you can see it. That's the stand from one of the um, last February. And the coffee right here is because it's so cute and I got it from the Gachapon here in Hong Kong. And this is the one yeah. I wanted to get out of the five and then you can see I got this also from the lucky draw of the, of the card, uh, card Captain Sakura and even the CD as well and that uh, card uh, holder as well that one that bag over there which is the theme of this one and then you can see a spinel over there from the doll and then here's Kiro inside their kawaii cups and then you can see Kiro right here holding the pens from the Kuji from the right side, the dream wand, and then the left is the pointer pen of Sailor Moon. And you can see behind it, you can see Chumutsumus of Sakura and Sharon, and then the Sakura cards that's hard to get and expensive to purchase. And then the two pointer pens of the ceiling wand and star wand. So that's all done. That's a lot of stuff that I have decorated. And now moving to this section. Here are some personal stuff, but not too personal. This one is actually from my drawing pad that I bought it like two years ago with, with my own money that I put a lot of hard work just to earn and purchase this tablet for my drawing. Here is for the towel, like easy to get, like you just soak it and then you can feel the coolness, but I have not used it yet. I'll use it when the right time comes. And this machine, you can make it as your own drawing, draw it and then make it into your pin. It's been a while and I bought this, or we actually bought this like more than a decade already. And this one, it's very seldom to see it. You will see this like more than 200, but we purchased this for around 50 plus Hong Kong dollars for that long period. And then you see my french fries, but it's only meant for my charging bank like that, to charge my phone, my bad. Some mini documents, and then at the back you can see the full metal documents of the full for you of the brand of the Minano Kuji. That that's the D price of Roy Mustang's gloves. So closing that back, and for this column, apparently this is my beginning of collecting more Abrika and Renamon stuff. So it's just a small stuff, but this is just the beginning. And for the um, Kuji for this alarm clock that I got. Um, I don't have anywhere else to put but just here for safetyness because I don't want to put it outside. And then here is the Mikumon that you'll be wondering where is she and she's right here standing. Some fan art postcards from the Tamer series. And at the back you can see the wallpaper that's from the Anywave magazine again. And all the charms that I got that I won from the Sakura Kuji from last February and um, three months ago because now it's September 1st. So closing back this and then what are we missing yes my bed section so in my bed section is actually very small because it's only for one person to sleep and you can see all the posters like that one that I want as well from the mermaid peachy peachy peach and then one of the posters that I got from the uh, anime convention way back then I think um, this is very long time but I still kept it in good condition and there's actually two versions of, of this of their of uh, stocking and panty what they're wearing it's like a gown where they go to Las Vegas like that and then for this one's when they transform into angels so the reason why I chose this one or my sister chose this because of the theme of these two that's inappropriate for the other poster so my sister decided that we'll just put this version instead for safety nets because my niece doesn't know this anime and this is rated 18 plus 2 beyond so I really don't want my niece to know about this anime yet until she is already maturely enough to understand this and then this one is another folder you can only get this in Japan and she is also the one who gave me the free poster I mean the postcard of the uh, 3D Ariel so I really appreciate for you giving me this so if you're watching this right now uh, Yue thank you very very so much 
And then moving on to our plushies again. This is also from the Kuji right here of Hanamaru. And then here's Baymax that I won by the Jumping Gym Jackpot for the very first freaking time. And then here is a life size of Meikumon, Tumu Tumu Baymax. This one is actually a tissue box, but it looks like a plush, so don't get fooled by this one, even though it's cute. This is from the Yui on Ice, and I forgot the name of this dog, so forgive me. And then, then, and then this is the A price of this uh, raccoon right here, the raccoon, uh, raccoon dog. And then here is a dog, but this one's actually a transformation. So if you look underneath, there's something pink. It will actually change into a um, hippopotamus or a pig. I can't remember, but it's a transformation that we got this in Miniso that's located near here in our location. And then here is another of the Ichiban Kuji that I got luckily out of two tickets. This is the A prize. And this one was, I think, um, two years ago, if I remember correctly. And then here is also from the Nina no Kuji. And out of 10 tickets, I got the A prize of Alphonse, which is the beanie bag. And he's very comfy. And then here is the B prize of Ivri. Also, but this year's theme is very nice. I prefer this, uh, this version than the A prize, to be honest. And then here is the number two price of the latest uh, cinema rolls and Rio Kuji. Very, very uh, comfy the, the material, of course, without the plastic. It's the same material co of this one of Alphonse and the A Price Mochi um, Kirby, to be honest. And then here is the um, the flight card, which is the B Price of the latest card capsule of Kura Kuji. And out of four pulls, when I tried it again, but just for four pulls, my third attempt like that, I got this one. And then here's my life size Telmon that recently I did a cosplay of Hikri, you know, being the shopping area that brought this one with me. And of course, we can't forget Kirby. And then down here, which I'm not going to show you, are the drawers. Apparently, the drawers down here are something personal, and some of them are like based for my anime collection that I keep referring to. But I don't want to show you because that's gonna be in the next, next, next uh, preview. And uh, moving down here, those ones that I'm, being, I'm trying to cover with my uh, jacket. There's us are the current um, selling stuff. And then here are the two buyer stuff that is still on standby. This one was supposed to be sending out almost a month ago, but because of personal issue and I don't have but that much money and because of my situation of the colonoscopy, I can't do this. And then for that one, still waiting for the Yumiko phase Sakura for this month on September 14th, but currently waiting for the um, booking. That's all I could do. So this is still on standby, still in good condition, and no problem with that. And now moving to the last, uh, last section, which is opening this. So as you open it, you see another Kuji um, wallpaper or scroll is Hanamaru. And then looking up here, I had to open the other side, but I have to be careful because it will hit the light bulb. So if you look up here, you can see some of the figures and plushies. And then inside there are the ones of Harry Potter Kuji. Some of the ones I got, the one I won, even the latest one. And that one I purchased for only 100 uh, Hong Kong dollar. And more Tumutumus uh, characters. Here's my Telmon. There we go. And all the way back, there is actually Pantheon stocking, the stocking figure, and other mini figures I want to display, but I can't because no room. And then to the another row, you can see the cinema roll from the latest Kuji, and there's Bobasar, which is my grandfather's favorite. And here's Mokoro, and then other um, Kuji uh, figures, dolls, figures everywhere. And then Kick the Cat, I purchased it through Amazon with one of the free um, application that I was able to get and I didn't have to pay a penny so I don't have to explain why because they're already out of service then some Kujis and then for this cat right here for stockings cat I also got it from the Ichiban Kuji if you may wonder and this camera this is the Happy Meal for the Hotel Transylvania 3 and I really like the, the simple design so I have to beg my sister to purchase it for me and you can see all the figures from Love Live, Gakuin Alice, Gegege no Kentaro, pens like this gigantic worm, um, Charlotte, and then Inuyasha, everything, etc. Even the dolls at the back are also from the Kujis. 
the way back, which you can't apparently see, uh, actually is the star one, or yeah, the star one of the card types of Sakura. And now moving down here, you can see this transformation doll, which is hard for me to get, but luckily to get this before it gets even more rapidly expensive, from this to that Charlotte. And then here is the Precure um, Hard Catch, the one I really like so much from this series. Because it's also the author who made the Ochomacho Doremi. And speaking of that, moving to the left, here are so far what I got of the replica toys. Some, most of them are like secondhand, but except for that Polon one over there, going with the orange stone. That one is a boot like, so I don't really like the sound of it, so I don't put the batteries. For cosplay prop, yes, I will use it for my future Hatsuki cosplay. And then some charms that I hang it up there. Then down here, you can see, I put a, like a double side tape and then stick it there safely. And inside, you'll see a lot of doshinchi books, magazines, personal books, a lot of them. So this is the first column, or the first drawer, that I actually decorated a lot of effort. And I've done this like since last Wednesday when I started my sick leave. And now to the final one. And because these ones are like stuck for a lot of plushies, a lot of the uh, kujis that I kind of put and slash of my um, uh, cosplay stuff you can see there. Some of them are kujis, some of them are not kujis. This one I also got a kuji, two poles if you're a member of the Nanko Sensei. I really want to put him down here but I can't because no more space. And here's the two Telma that I got. And this one is actually a sword that's for my sister, but she can't because kind of dangerous to display it when she has her daughter around, rooming around like crazy. Then this dog is one of the staff who actually gave me on my birthday. So this is a remembrance dog. Too bad you can't really see her, but she's very cute. I think her name is Misty. Then one of the Kujis I got, that was not Kuji that I got on the first ticket, surprisingly. And then out of 8 pulls for that one of my melody that's I think on uh, last year I got. And that stingray above there, you may wonder, that's from the ocean park that my mom gave me, gave to me as my birthday gift a few years ago. And over here you can see the Gengar A price of this Nick scarf. And here is a shout out of the cushion that I purchased up for only 100 Hong Kong dollars, which is already cheap. And this is the Baymax bag that I like, but I haven't done a preview, but I did post it on my um, Instagram post that this is from the brand of chocolate right here. And that Jigglypuff is the transformation, which I can't show to you. That one is actually from the KFC way back then, when we were still in elementary school, when we used to live in Causeway Bay, Hong Kong. So I think that's the end of my room tour. I'm so sorry if it's nothing much to show to you like that. But yes, before I end my video, I forgot to show you one more thing, which is right here. The, the frames like that are, yep, gigantic frames that's the size of B3. Even way up there, even the side over here, mostly are from the Kujis. That's really a lot, just to block the, you know, the views like that. Except for this part, I can still see the beautiful views, very nice. And that's about it and nothing much to show and i do plan to put more especially the gaps right here that i don't have yet like mostly these ones are for the digimon because i really am a huge fan of digimon and if you may wonder when i'm going to do a um, itabag preview of two itabag or three so far and yeah, probably in the next video oh i forgot one more which is my clothes area but i'm not going to show you the whole thing in here you can see these are the blankets for all the kujis like the yui on ice the um sailor moon the um latest um the card capture sakura and one two years ago of the card capture sakura kuji as well so this bag this whole bag is actually the kuji blanket so i can't sell these ones and then for here, nothing much except for that pink bag, which is the last one price of the Sakura, if you can see it. Um, there we go. That's the one. And then for these drawers, I have a lot of the posters to display, but because my room is so small and narrow, like I have to repeat again, I cannot display them. I have a lot of these ones, a lot of animated goods, but it can't be helped because my room is very small. But hopefully in the future, I could display more without any hustle. 
and so this is the end of my room tour and if you did enjoy this very long preview even though it's really more than long really long than 30 minutes I do hope you guys enjoyed this uh, my very first time to do a anime room tour for this year 2018 even though I'm a little bit um, uncomfortable right now because of the food restriction diet issue so if you do if you did enjoy this anime tour uh, anime room tour 2018 uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more anime previews in the later future so until then everyone see you all in the next anime preview